Okay, we are like, you tell me when you start recording. Bro. Hello, happy Monday morning, guys. Hey, fuck Monday morning. Happy afternoon. <laughs> we went away. You know I mean? We're late. We're eight minutes right. behind. Right. Phone, right. uh, so on. you want to, we usually, are you recording already? Yeah. All right, so do not say what number this is. Do not say that. Okay, fine. Thank you. So straight up new po podcast. Let's go. All Let's right, go. everybody. So we're back for 2024. Yeah, buddy. In our new studio at our headquarters. And today we have a very special guest. Not only is he a big influencer, not, you don't like to be called an influencer. I'm a big friend. He's a big friend. He's a big uh, guy. He's a partner. And he yeah. has um, an interesting story of how he's gotten to where he is. And a lot of you guys know him as Kiko Querrico. Yes, thank you, Eddie. Appreciate Kiko it. Kiko Querrico. Thank you, Manny. Kiko. Happy Monday, guys. Happy Monday. What's Happy going Monday. On? Happy Monday. Good. Back in? A pleasure to have you here. Well, yeah, I'm excited. I brought some cow bacon for you we guys. We did, we so. did. Which, by the way... The viewers can now see we, we already dug into this a little bit. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. Everybody we're having some technical issues, and then yeah. before we got into it, we just started having big, some big shout-out to Yvette and Tony for, yes. for hooking us up with Anybody this. Anybody knows me, I got cow tattooed on my back. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm, I'm hardcore. I this know. I know. He always brings it to the office. Yes, yes. That, yes. Is, that, 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 is, that is true. And I like your setup here, guys. Thank you for having me. It's pretty nice. No, no. I, I know you got Ben back there working it. This is really well. sweet. That's our producer. We got our, our producer Ben. Nice. That's our nice. producer Ben. I have one thing to say though. Why does Manny always look better than everybody? The what? Why but does Manny young. always look better than everybody? You know, um, I know you because you work with him for a long time. But he I always it sticks to you. Like you're a good looking dude too, but he always looks better. He does. Than you. I mean, Do you get upset at that? A I, I actually no. I love it. I love it. Uh -huh. I feel. I feel like when I look honestly, I feel like there's something wrong if he doesn't look good. Like, okay, another question I have. Are you growing a beard because he has a beard? No. No, I can't no. even grow a beard. No. I got, no. He's not, oh, yeah, since he's I met him, he had a beard. No, and I take it off, and my wife is like, uh, grow it back up, please. I think. No, I tell him the same thing. Well, no, right now, yeah. right now, he's in the chin strap zone, but yeah. but it'll grow better. Just give, give it time. Are you saying this because you have a nice beard? I have a great beard. You, you I have a ride. beautiful beard. You do. Manny. You do. No, 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 no. Listen. I have a beautiful beard. I don't, I don't know if they're going to allow you on Columbus grounds with that, man. Now, shout out to my hat. Squeeze the lemon. There you go. I'll talk about that later, but look how nice this is. STL mindset, baby. Come to hate that you get free shit, man. I gotta well, say, you got the STL, <laughs> you got the STL mindset, which is, which is, which is important thing. So yeah. important thing. Actually, it's talking about that STL. What does it mean? I'll let Lord Manny tell, tell us a little I just bit got more. I hat, and I'm not well, sure. I mean, I mean, listen, STL is very, very, very easy. It's squeeze the lemon, and I say, why squeeze the lemon? I say it's very, you know, you always, everybody, every, you have opportunities in life, and we've talked about this. I mean, yeah. Of course, Ben, the producer, is probably in the back already saying, don't talk about this again. But anyway. Squeeze the lemon is life gives you opportunities. I always say some people just take one opportunity and they just deal with that one. Then they really don't look to the person that came with that other person. And maybe that other person has another opportunity for somebody. Absolutely. Yeah. So then at the same time, I always imagine like a lemon. You know, you grab, you cut the lemon, you get your hand, you, you squeeze the lemon. Yeah, you want to throw it away. But as you always go, maybe you go back and get a little more out of it. There you go. You grab that lemon, you get the lemon yeah. squeeze, and you go like that, point, and you still have more. My, so, yeah, my version is kind of like, thank God it's Monday. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody's always Monday. I'm like, bro, you woke up today. Yeah, that's true. Everybody see, goes through crazy true. things. Well, you you gotta, see green, brother? When yeah. you wake up and you see green, you're good. You're good. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's kind of the same thing. You know, like mine is that. But it, like you said, just try to take the most out of life, right? You, you, in every situation, in yeah. every situation, you have to take the most out of life. That's STL. STL mindset. That's how you have to wake up. Mm -hmm. And a funny story about that. One of the podcasts that we had earlier was about STL. He kind of like introduced it to the majority of the public. He's always kind of preached it to us. Mm. And he started getting lemon squeezers ordered and shipped to his house. We don't even know how people got his address, but they were getting shipped <laughs> to his house. Here. <laughs> Every time, awesome. I have about like 24 different type of, of lemon squeezers yeah. with different that's designs. Good. That's yeah. Yeah. It was interesting. Yeah. If you yeah. want to ship something to Manny, it's 141 <laughs> yeah. Sevilla Ave, Coral Gables, Florida 33134. Make sure you get the Zimco correct. Because Squeeze the lemon, reason. baby. Squeeze the lemon. I love STL. I love that. We got more apparel coming, by the way. You like it? I got it. Hey, it fits me. If it fits wait, me, if it's anyway. Wait till you see the apparel. Yeah. But anyway, so we wanted to ask yeah, all those listeners out there. So you started with the fact of Kiko. Why? Kiko influencer. I think the I, I think the biggest question is why the, the food thing, Kiko? Why is it something from from being young? You know, we're all Hispanic. We come yeah. from ma majority Cuban parents. Yeah. So we always got that instilled in us with the For sense sure. of our parents, come, come, you have to come in. So I don't know if that 
Is that something that you always... Yeah, you know what? Me growing up as a kid, born in Westchester. Yes. My grandmother was a waitress at that Denny's on 87 in Burford. Oh. Years. So I spent most of my summers rolling little napkins in the bag and... You know, I love that Denny's. Eating the mother right. butler pies. Going, yes. Mom. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yes. I've always been a big eater. I mean, I got the equipment for it. And uh, my dad, you know, always, um, you know, grilling and roasting pigs and barbecues. And uh, so when I got a TV, I, I, I wanted to do sports, but I would always watch Food Network. And before Food Network, it was great chefs and just always loved La Cocina. And I would always just watch TV and food. So I, when, I, when I, I did study broadcast journalism and I got into TV, TV as, at the age of 19, you know, and it's been a long time, I uh, started working at uh, NBC Telemundo after being 10 years already in TV. And I got a, a break by my news director and mentor, Edgar Silva, which is sure you know her and uh, she's always gave me the path that gave me my break and I was able to produce segments and hang out with my chef friends and highlight their businesses but do it my style you know no cussing or anything like that but uh, some, a little bit more on not I wouldn't say unprofessional but unethical I like the way TV was delivered where I would interview chefs and get back to them and talk to them on a one on one and not so you know fancy all the Bundle. time but you make relationships like that you know and uh, but I think that's I think that's the way that people can relate yeah, for you sure. If, I, if I'm eating it and it's good, you know it's good. I'm not a, one of these right. influencers that goes yeah. to the beach and has a burger and doesn't take a, a bite out of Eddie it. Eddie and I sometimes <laughs> will, will go to places and he'll go, let's do a review of this place. And I go, no, let's not review it because I don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> so I prefer I prefer yeah. not saying it. No, no, especially it nowadays. I feel bad. I don't nowadays, like it. if you don't like it, don't talk about it. I just don't talk about it. I'll go ahead and yeah. say something good well, about a good one. Not for nothing. We work together a lot, as you know. And yeah. I have sent him to places, and he will give me a call. I'll be like, buddy, it's going to last three months. Yes. He goes, but never talk about it. We're yeah. not into dogging nobody. Absolutely yeah. not. He goes, bro. but he comes back it's with a, very pointed, yeah. correct criticism of like, this is what they need to fix, et cetera, oh, et cetera, et cetera. Man. And we relate that to the yeah. client and tell them, this is what sure. to, to be able to survive, you know? And and by the way, we you know, we just, that happened to us the other day. We went to a place, I'm not going to mention, but we went to a place and, the, and, and we were like, this place is not going to even survive for you. We it. You feel it. You 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 and get it's that sad feeling. because people put money into I their know. lives, you know. And that yeah. and that's the thing. And we and we went outside and what even hit us harder, and he can say that, is that the girl came out and she looked at us and she goes, Tell me the truth. You know, if there's something you didn't like or anything, could you let us know? We just we all look, somebody else went with us here from the office and we just looked at each other. We're like, No, no, you're you're okay. Well, you know, well you know, that's how how I relate is is seeing an ugly baby. <laughs> And when you look at the ugly baby, you say, oh, my God, he looks so healthy. Well, I'll, I'll tell you. Yeah. you don't want to say he's ugly, but you say, oh, he's in, healthy. In my defense, I like and eat anything. Well, so. that's the problem. Well, <laughs> yeah, no, but his palate is not no, at no, the no. level of ours. He can't. He can't. Clear. He can't. He, 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 he's, he's too... No, I nice at all. Just never... to sit him down is hard. No, no, yeah. this is this is the carbon <laughs> copy for, like, here we go, the 80s, of a Mikey would have. Mikey will have it. You know, like, you know, nobody else wants it. You give it to him. And the guy, he, he needed the yeah, we, we factor. Have, we have uh, stories here in the office. Of, no, we're, we're, that, we're, that's another <laughs> segment. We got to bring in the whole office stop so for that one. Yeah. Uh, I know you recently re uh, retired, retired from, from TV, yes. broadcast. Yes. Oh, another retiree. Yes. Another retiree. Oh, yes. We got a story about that with my yes. neighbor. <laughs> so you retired from broadcast. Yeah. You have a personal brand and you started building yeah. for a while now an event brand and a hospitality brand. Yeah. Just, Kiko Hospitality Group, man. So tell me a little bit about that. Yeah. I see it everywhere. I'm you guys excited. have done a good job. I know you've done a lot of work with Fonseca. We've been involved in yes. certain things. Yes. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, yeah. It was I was kind of getting ready to make my move from TV. Obviously, you know, I miss all my family and stuff like that that I used to work with for so many years. But I, I was preparing and I have Kiko Hospitality. Uh, I, I call myself the octopus of uh supporting local businesses because I do have a uh, event company that I do with my partner, Luis Fonseca, who I call the machine. He's like my, my buddy. He's my rock. And uh, we do events, and we usually do with the support local police officers or people that are in need, and they're nice events um, where we can help a lot of people as well. Um, and then I also do a little seafood meat distribution where I got a couple I got a couple clients there. I'm mean, like 20 restaurants that I'm doing that I can still be in the food game and help people out and, you know, obviously make money off it. Um, but it's it's kind of my world, you know? And then obviously little marketing stuff. I put a lot of people on. I work with you guys and people that own businesses. That that man, it's just a win win because we get to meet people like you guys that are that that can help. I can help, and it's a good relationship. Like Kyle, for instance, and stuff. So I'm just excited what's to come, and and I can sleep now because I used to work morning news. So 
That's no more two forty five a.m. wake ups, you know. So um, I'm just excited, man. And, and uh, like I said, working with you guys and, and this pig roast that we just had, I believe is the country record, by the way, of the biggest pig roast. So I'm excited, and uh, it was a home run, and it just looking exciting. And I want to squeeze the hell out of the lemon. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Going to that pig roast. Yeah, talk to me because you were a competitor for the first time. It was exhausted. I, I, I honestly. I, well, look, I, let, I, let, let me say something to this guy first. To do a pig roast is hard. Yeah. You're old school, and you're, you've been doing pig roast before I was even born. Not that you're old. But to bring a rookie in to yeah. compete against 105 teams, do the research, FaceTime me 30 times. I, I, bro, your pig came out good, bro. You think so? Bro, it was, not only was it good, it was it was beautiful looking. Yeah. So if that was your first one, brother, I mean, I know you're busy as hell. You really... Should throw it down every time something like that comes. Well, I just I want had, to mention that I had left there saying I'll never do this shit again. But I bro, told him I'll never do. This. He now did. You tell me that I'm in the game. I'm bro. telling you, I, I can be honest. You're my boy. I'll tell you. Again. You just gotta coordinate that. There's, 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 there's not a lot of work. There's not a lot. Yeah, it's all. Oh, it's so much there, work. And it was a lot of work because it's not like you're doing a pig roast at home. You're you're shifting everything. You have to take it quick. Logistics. To, so the logistics is one of the more complex uh, portions of it. And apart from that, you got to be very involved. But you, you know? do get that satisfaction at the end of you completing do. something but that I'll you put you your work much. into. Even though to your point of that, you're not the house. Listen, to his point, I grew up, my dad doing pig roast. For sure, for sure. Noche buena. For sure. And the fact is that, you know, it starts in seven something in the morning and the night before. It was a process. The because three-day thing. The three-day thing, you would go and I would go with my dad and all my cousins to go pick up. Go look for the pig. No. And then at that time, whoever didn't like that whole scenario would have to go on my dad's pickup because, you know, <laughs> he would go out there with a the knife. Ah, ah, and you hear that, you know how that goes. Yeah. And then after that, putting it in the in, in, in the in the in the tubs of hot with laying you on the bottom yeah. to put the damn thing, just skin it and take out all the all the um, It's all the, the process. Hair. For me it's, it's the, the process. process. Clean it. I'll want yeah. the next day, every so time my cool. dad by eight o'clock when the pig was done. Yeah. He would leave everything already cut up. Oh, Where's sure. my father? That's how my we dad grew was up. already in bed by now. That's how we grew up. That's how we grew yeah, up. But it was phenomenal. Uh, I mean, I would love to do it again. I, I think uh, it's, a, it's a learning curve. But I know you and Fonseca, and that was a lot of work, man. I saw I saw oh, you guys, man. you know, like. Yeah, for, it for was. Me, managing one pig, you guys are managing was, bro, imagine trying to get 105 crews together. On this, yeah, you know, drinks involved all day. No, no, that, that getting everybody all they want. You know, dealing with egos, and 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 yeah. and. But it was great though because there was so much like love and at the same time shit talking and everything. It was yeah. just you know when you're on top, people talk shit. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. And, and especially I'm, with some alcohol. I, and I'm at a point. I'm at a point in my life where, bro, like, I, like I don't. Doesn't upset me. You know what I'm saying? No. Like well, it kind of feels. Next time, you, next time, I'm gonna recommend something. You put a big ass sign that says "Check." Eagles at doors, bro. This is for I imagine non-profits. you have people like us that have pride in their yeah, family yeah, yeah. recipes yeah. and pigs, and I do this yeah. and that, and then you got crews that this is what they fucking do. This is, this is what they freaking do. You can yeah. get that. I'm sorry. Beep. Beep. No, but listen, but la, la porca nostra, like other, they live and breathe that. You know, other crews too. Everybody, a bunch of people. This is that's what they. So you really got to get it right, you know. And I think we did get it right. Obviously, we have to improve and things like that. But man, try to do that. Like you said, try to put 105 crews together and 4,000 people. And for a nonprofit too. It's not yeah, like, no, you know, and you're helping out. It's all yeah. for a good cause. That's what we always do. You so, know? but wait. So then, so everybody that's, you know, be viewing or listening, what's the secret to a good pig? What, what, what's, what is the secret? Number to one, love. Pig? You got to love what you're doing. If you're doing it, I need the puzzle, forget it. Right. I love, you got to want to be able to do it. And uh, for me, there's a couple secrets. You know, a lot of people use mojos and stuff like that, which I like. But if I'm going to do competition and stuff like that, I'm, I'm going to go just with salt and let that smoke and fire, like, really give it that flavor. And then have it on the side. But there's nothing worse than you spend four or five hours doing a lechong. It's done. You put all the time, and then you drop some moho on it. Yeah. Right. No, no. no. That's exactly yeah, what moho, moho, you can marinate before, but don't be pouring a cold saying. moho on a pig. You just put no, the fire all you're, all you're tasting yeah. is moho. Exactly. That's exactly. But, tasting. you know, moho is always something that how we grew up, and it's something, yeah. and it's something that you use, Big. but you got to know how to use it. Right, you but know? you see, so to your point, you know, because like, it's good because then people can say, eh, so what is what is the secret to a good pig? My dad would always, my dad would never do that. My dad, the night before, my grandmother and my mom would prepare the mojo. My dad, then at that time, no, weren't that fancy with the injectors or anything. Yeah, but that's not the mojo I'm talking about. That's homemade that, mojo. That's what I'm saying. That's that's uh, that's, that's well, awesome. Well, my house That's was, awesome. My backyard had a tree of sour orange. Yeah. Okay. And then it, oh, todo el ajo, everything machucado, yeah. my grandmother doing the whole, and then from there, my dad, yeah. 
F freaking that damn thing. That's everywhere. the best one. If I'm not using that one, and I don't want to plug and say I'm using La Lechonera Mojo. This is the best right. one. Well, it's, 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 it's the most it's similar to, to more similar to, homemade. To, to homemade. Yeah. But nobody does that, man. Nobody yeah. does that anymore. Nobody does that. Oh, no, there's none of that. No, no, but they still do it in my house. They do. No, no, yeah. I'm saying. But they but still but, do it in my but house. new generation stuff like that. They don't no, they're, 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 no, no. Talk about new generation. Our pig was the, the, the AI pig. Was, Generated by Chat GPT. Yeah, like, but they know Robert pull, no Robert, no no robot can pull that off. Uh, so we did a Chat GPT recipe because we yeah. had no idea. It gave us a time, how long it should be. We get there and that all blew up. Yeah. And our neighbor yeah. uh had to help us manage the fire, etc. You know, but it was tough. But was wanting tough. to know how to do it right, that's the love I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah. And it came out awesome. You know yeah. What I'm but again, it, those are traditions, and um and, and let me tell you, I think it's I think it's spectacular what you guys have done with the pig rolls. I think you guys have gotten a a Hispanic, true to you oh, know. Let's sure. not even say tampoco because sure. really, uh, I'm gonna get a lot of calls from Hawaiian because a lot of Hawaiian people would do pig rolls. No, but, but we, we got, got, got you know, the best are Chinese in Cuba. Let's be honest. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna tell you right now. Latina, but we're getting attention from the boys uh, up north from the real barbecue. The barbecue. Bar you know what I'm saying? My buddy Lewis has gone up there and. And then uh, foots on the ground at the Jack Daniels and the KBC, the KBCS, and all those professional Kansas City barbecues and stuff like that. Yeah. And they're like, "Yo, what are you guys doing down there? Like, what's this whole hog thing in a China box or Cajina?" Wow. Yeah. yeah. And they're coming down, and we're going up, so they're loving it, and we're building relationships to not just bring it to our master scale, but to get more people involved. Because those are serious guys up there. Well, you know? I mean, if you think about it, you can do anything in like Cajina. But they don't. They never seen those things. Yeah, they never you can seen do those whole things. You can do anything in right. Some rich, right? Right. The absolutely. Absolutely. But we are getting the attention from that, and that's yeah. kind of flattering that we can put the way we grew up. On, on absolutely, back, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. So, so, little, to move thing. on from the pig roast bowl, which we all love, yeah. uh, you're always involved in many things in the city. What other exciting projects do you have going on? Or anything upcoming that you know we can tell our viewers so they can show up at? Or well, you know, we always do the the toy drive every every uh, holiday that you felt this out with that Lewis does. Uh, again, my my partner on uh, Lewis Osega at the Billboard, and that's kind of like our year ender of not only thanking everybody that's worked with us, but also. Uh, Collecting for the toys, you know, I'm sure you've done toy drives before, but when we paired up with you uh, this year, bro, we got a huge, I mean, this office was full and yeah. and the kids were with the Kiwanis, they went straight there, you know, because it's a toy drive that you're going to see the results. Yes. You know, you're going to have these checks and that's always nice, but you never know. But with these, with all these toys, you know, and the Kiwanis and you guys, and and that's what I'm talking about. That, that's like like the new year should be about relationships and good vibes. That's why I think I like this logo, the, the squeeze the lemon. And bro, I'm just happy you if you have a bad vibe or a negative thing, like, please lose my number. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, ho. Burger Licious, Burger Licious is this Thursday. Is Burger this, are you going to be there? or I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there. I always miss it because of my son's baseball, but I'm going to make time. I love that event. I've been there since day one. I've missed it a couple of years just because of scheduling. You know, you got young kids. Yes. So, but I'm going to try to be there. It's a great event. I love and it. And then we have I South Beach, South, South Beach. Thousand Beach Food and Wine. I did food put in. Wine. I did put in our, our media uh, tickets. Something that please that I've been working with uh, many years with. You know, I'm, I'm friends with Lee Schrager, who's like you know one of my mentors as well. And and that's like the but that's like the best best of them. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. like three or four days of like prepara day, and you're gonna have the best freaking time and the best events. And well, it's become also a, a social event to attack for sure. For sure. You know, I mean, it's just not so much the food, but it's just some people just go like when I go, I don't. You know, I just go grab the, a couple of drinks and, and just hang out. You hang out. It's a, yeah. it's, a, it's a great moment. And to tell you the truth, how much can you eat? I mean, you go to the, by the by the third place, you already know you're I full. I think he can eat a lot. Yeah, yeah. I've seen him. No, no, with any that issue. No, <laughs> this, this is why they're considering giving us media credentials. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but you know what? It's something that I've been covering all these years. And now that I'm not in TV no more, like, I don't get those TV credentials, but I can get media credentials with yeah, you guys. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. And, 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 no, and honestly, you, you're someone that like I kind of feel like needs to be there. Bro, you know, for like, sure. It's an amazing game. Sometimes the tickets are violently expensive, let's be honest. But when you go there and you come out of there, you're like, well, you know what? It was worth it, bro. It was yeah. worth That's what I'm saying. It's I, I, I ate the best. I, everybody yeah. was there. You know, yeah. your wife or your girl got the pictures. And, yeah. And every and everybody's happy. So, I mean, it is, you know, tough. There's parking issues, you know, myself. But, bro, that's Miami. Bro. If, yeah. If you're not is. dealing with none of that, it then is. it is. Well, no, it can't be any worse than, I mean, I didn't go to Art no, Basel last it. year, but everybody was complaining yeah, about the traffic. you can't have fun from the couch. You got to get on and do yeah. things. You plan yeah. accordingly, bro. Yeah, no, I'm not that guy. That I'm way. not that guy. I'm squeeze the lemon gun. You Alex. have everybody else coming from everywhere in the U.S. and around the world to come over here. Yeah, like, Udo, bro. You it's know, true. because of what everything we have. Remember, that's my other saying. Remember, this is not Miami, Florida. This is Miami, USA. I know, man. People are so scared of the beach, though. You know, they're scared of the beach. Like, I understand why, but there's beautiful places in the beach that you can get in and out and not being yeah. in the building. 
Yes. Yeah. Get a little, well, gone, little, little, you know, and, and it helps all people because, you know, there's a... Well, they just, they just ran, I think they're putting something through now that they want to stop the smoking on the beach, like smoking weed on the beach and making it legal because... It's just, it's, it's it sucks smells, when you're with your you know, kids. Like you're gonna, walking around with kids and stuff like that, you're well, swimming all over the parks and everything. I mean, it's, it's, it's bad. Yeah. I know, I've been, I've been down there, I've taken my family, my suegra, and you put on the windows and she's like, you know, you're talking about Colombian conservative people. Why does it smell like drugs around here? <laughs> it uh, does, bro. Like, yeah, because it's in Colombia, they don't smoke. They, they don't do that. Something else. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> something that doesn't smell. Man, it was fun. I hate it. I just love how it smells. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. But anyway, I mean, they're like. No, but yeah, on. you know, but, I don't, and, but that's how the situation is. You know, it's hard to get. That's why restaurants, they really got to be so aggressive. And be good because yes. to get a family in the car, everybody monta out or go to a spot. It's tough. It's tough. And if they don't system. like it, oh, it's gonna be hard. I always say, you read a restaurant, like, will you come back? If you eat something and you eat, like, will you come back now? Nah, then, then it won't yeah. go wrong. It's just not. But if you eat something, you're like, well, you know, what are we going right, house? right. Or are we going back? Yeah. You know, and you know, you have, well, you eat a lot out, so you know what that's like. If you come out, and sometimes you say, you know, we'll go out to dinner, and we'll, this is a one and done. You know, this is it. I, it's true. I, I, I tried it. I liked it, but. And I'm not going to mention places either. I could have. I really wanted to, but I'm not. No, but no. at the same time, no, no, not in a bad way. They're no. still they're still up and running. Yeah. And 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 it's all a hype because of the, you know, the whatever group owns them. But what, what, what do you prefer? You prefer good food, shitty service, or shitty service, bad food? I mean, shitty service, good food. Well, I prefer good service, okay food. Bro, for me, service it, is everything. It, it, of course. Yeah. So, like. I don't prefer, obviously, yeah. you know, great service, shitty food, but, like, it's right. Like, I can deal with it. Yeah. You get me? I can yeah. deal with it. Because if you have great food and there's shitty service, forget it. Then it'll be like, yeah, you don't want to come back. You don't feel welcome. Yeah, so, but it's not dropping plates at different times and you're watching your friend eat. Yeah. That, for me, bro, is like, oh. But that goes to show you how many variables there are for a restaurant to succeed. For me, it's the toughest business. I don't own a restaurant now because... No. I can if I wanted to because if I want to talk about us right now, I ask Uncle Manny and he's going to back. I know yeah. that. Right. But right. no, because I'm telling you straight up. <laughs> Uncle, Uncle Manny, oh, yeah, I need this. Bobby. Producer. <laughs> no, they are. You know, you know, you invest in me. But I need my weekends. And he's got young kids too. So you, he's you, invested in the wrestling for it. He's not a no, fan. No, no, but talking about Garrigo Wrestling. Yeah. yeah. You need your weekends. And what happens when it's hot? The weekends is when you, you know what I'm saying? So you're working. So if you're a business and you have a family, like you're not gonna be there the weekends. Well, listen, that you is know? the toughest business toughest in people. town. Well, no, we have a sushi restaurant on the corner that yeah. he was very interested in investing in. And this chef, a good friend of mine, Efrain, he goes, brother, I want my one location in right here. I don't want they, I tried to expand, it doesn't work. Okay. He goes, I need to be involved here in my little area. And and, and he did a phenomenal job. And, and I he always say it. that is the best way how to run a restaurant. Because He's you know. there. He sees it. He cooks yeah. it. He brings it out to you. That's his way of being. When you, you know, unless you're one of these people that really, you know. Oh, Efrain is a yeah. great person, a yeah. great dude, Him and his great wife. chef, great service. They really attend to you, like, it's you know, the whole like family. family. Him, you know? the wife, the They're mother, impressive. everybody runs yeah, that those place. Are good spots. Those are, the, those good are spots. the good spots. Those are the good spots. But regardless, listen, at the end of the day, I mean, we are, and what I think that what you do, I think is phenomenal. Because I think that you really open the eyes to a lot of people, to places that a lot of people oh, may not have access to or did not really know existed. So I think that, you know, when people tell you, well, where should I go? I'm one of those people, and I always tell them, we try to go and try different places For every sure. week. For sure. Because I think that that's something. Sometimes people say, what, what do I do in my... Yeah, it's easy going, and I like to go out on Thursday nights. By the way, I'm a yeah. Thursday night guy. I love Friday and Saturdays, I, but I have usually, you know, reminds you those college nights. I have to do yes, but Thursday nights for me is a great night to go to a restaurant. So I try always, and and uh, me and my wife and everything, and some other friends, we try to go to places on Thursdays yeah. and try a new place. I think that's something. There's a strategy really try. to that too. You know why? And I know more of the inside scoop. A lot of the restaurants, eighty percent of restaurants get their deliveries on Wednesdays. There you go. So all your fresh food is coming in. Thursday, you're eating the fresh. Friday not that I had the inside information, but... Friday and Saturday is going to be good, but it's not going to be... Yeah. And it, when it's Thursday, it's less packed. There's more attention to detail. There's not a corre corre. So you remember right. that. See, oh, wow. you know, he's got... Yeah, he's I got... I mean, it's, it, it's like, you know, it's like Valentine's. A lot of people... I, I'm Never. not a Valentine guy. You know what I do Those pre so I 10 years, Frankie's Pizza. Okay. I, 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 I pizza with my kids when I was married mm -hmm. with uh, with my wife, or either eat it on the hood of the car like I did when I was five or six years. Yeah, old. right take there. Them, take them half baked at yeah. home. No, that's what I do. I because take it half baked. Eating Valentine's is tough, bro. It's tough, man. It's you it's know half baked. Half baked is a date. It's pre cooked, and then you finish. You top it off gotcha. at the house at the oven, which is better. Baked pizza, no? 
you get to have bacon, you finish it at home, and the instructions are on the box. Oh, yeah. Pretty cool. Because it's easy. And because at the same time, you take it from, you know, the place by the time you, wherever like, you live. Yeah, the timer old. starts. The timer starts. Timer pretty starts. Pretty so, but they're old. That's, let me tell you, talk about uh, old, school. old school. Frankie's 60, 60 is 61 years. I've never been there. Yeah. Old. But so, you have to be a fan. So, um, yeah. Top five restaurants for you right now, right now in Miami. Jesus. Top five restaurants. Right, like right there, you're putting them on the spot like that. Wow. Top of head, right there from STL. Yeah. Oh, let's take it with the STL right now. Why Mark- that starts with an S? Okay. <laughs> Bro, my favorite steakhouse is Red. Okay. okay. The one on Bird Road. No. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm right here. <laughs> this is this South is Beach. What I deal with, by the way. Peter Vadi. Peter Vadi. He's my favorite. Uh, <laughs> okay. Big beef guy. He's the best. I don't care. So red is a steakhouse. Red is a steakhouse. Yeah. Uh, Give me an Italian. Top Italian place you go uh, to. Oof. So much. It depends. No, but can you have Italian food for me is on the bottom of my list, like six or five. Five or six. It's not my top one. Yeah. But I'm probably going to go Macalina or one of my favorites, Il Gaviano. Okay. Yeah, be honest, yeah. But I'm gonna recommend one for you. I'm gonna take you to one. Which one? Take me. Eat I'm gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna go. Okay. We're gonna go to a Duomo. Um, Top ceviche place. Oh. That's Eke ceviche. Everybody does ceviche, but yeah. But there, I do have my favorites, man. Ah. Uh, sh- nah, I can't answer that. Too many of my boys do ceviche. Just uh, right now, it could be like you know, right now, how you feeling. Bro, I like Dr. Limon. Carlos is making amazing ceviches. Solid. Solid ceviches. Uh, ceviche 105. Fancy ceviche. Delicious. Remember, I'm not talking about ambient. I'm not talking about... Ooh, right. Food, food, like, food. Right, right, say, right. I can, right. I can, I can, I can yeah. eat it outside of a gas station. No, no, I like ceviches. It'll be the same thing. Everybody does ceviches, so it's tough. And uh, I like Jaguar, too, bro. I like Jaguar. Jaguar's good. You know what? Because Jaguar's I've been for 25 years. Yeah. And for 25 years, I know what I'm going to get. Yeah. And then and 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 you know they're consistent. Is there better they're ones consistent. that are more fufu? Is there a forty dollars ceviche that I don't want to mention? Yes, but this not my favorite. Correct. Gotcha. Seafood little joints like Amaronera, los paradisos. Always, always. But ya no son paradisos. Yeah. 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 I know. Garcia, I know. My buddy Dave. That's another good story. Best by the way. menudo sandwich there. It is. You know. How about best sushi restaurant? No, I know. That's number four. We're on number four right now. Sushi How many do you want? Five. 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 I'm gonna ask the fifth one, but I want I want this to be a clip. Like da, 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 da. I'm gonna sushi, ask number five. I think sushi restaurants from the top, top, top. Uh, Mila's Omakase is amazing. Chef Michael. Uh, That's the only one I'm gonna have to take you to. I'm not taking you to a guy. He guide. runs over there. Is amazing. What are you invited me? What? Are, what are um, you? Oshi Thai, my buddy Chef B in North Miami. Solid. Been there almost twenty years. And. I don't know. There's so many. That's a ton no, of that's food. fine. That's, that's good. good. Well, number five is for me. It's not your food. Your favorite bakery. Cow Bakery. <laughs> That's easy. We should ask him you know, who's his favorite bakery. Cow Bakery. But I knew all the bakers. Why so would you they're say all that? good. Cow Bakery is my favorite bakery. <laughs> cow Bakery will be able to get uh, the cows. I don't know. I heard rumors that Why? they Why would... caught him at Pinecrest Bakery, oh, and it's gotten God. to me. Listen, 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 listen. Who's I... giving you these rumors? Somebody told me. Hey, so many that I've caught him at Pinecrest Bakery. It's supposed to be Cow Bakery. That person's caught me or somebody sending pictures of me? I remember that bakeries. Sending pictures of Bakeries out of the mafia, man. You know, <laughs> Let me explain bakeries. this to you. Well, listen, I get along very well with the mob. My, my <laughs> you look is, like a mob member. The thing is, is that I go to the <laughs> bakery that's closest when my son says, Bobby, I need Pan Cubano now. <laughs> Which is Cow Bakery. The closest. Cow As a matter of fact, we take a little bite here just to read it. <laughs> well, but listen. No. I think, um, again, this is, uh, you know, I think it's great that, that Kiko came on today and um, giving us uh, a little bit of that feedback. Yeah. But I really do say, again, there's always a need for people to give direction. And I think that what you have created with um, with your brand and, and Kiko Carrico and, and everything has really revolutionized here in Miami. And the sense that you have people that will come down and will tell me, you know what, I'll go to Kiko's you know site to see where sure, to go yeah. and where You're to go. Like, no one's going to get the truth. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to do anything negative because that's just how I, I don't want to do it. But it's always going to be what I like. So Right. And it's important to say, yes, listen, influencers, everybody gets paid. Yeah. 
nobody's saying this because I know that you get invited by 20 restaurants that yeah. nobody's going to tell you, oh, I'm going to give you money. No, you get invited to go try their food. Yeah, for sure. If I've you, never, if, if I've you never like reached it, out. I get invited if, if and I try get, to do my like best. If you like it, you're going to say the truth. Oh, yeah, I really love this right. burger. I really like this pizza. That's something that if, really... If I don't nice. like it, you're just not going to see it. I'm like, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So I, I think that's... You that's, call me one-on-one, -on -one, we'll break that's it down. That's spectacular. Though. To go out there and hurt yeah. somebody like that. Because you said, you know, like we said earlier, it's their livelihood, there's family. Of course. But everybody's this big corporate group that has thousands of restaurants. Yes, yeah. I'm that mom and pop. And, and you uh, know the Absolutely. Uh, quick question. Yeah. Um, you know, recommendations you have for someone who wants to build a personal brand in your field. Oh, man. Anything, anybody that wants to build a social, a, a social media, to build any brand, it's just getting the word out. My thing is that, especially if you're like a chef for a restaurant or even any, any, any business, if it's doing something amazing, how do I know about it? How do I see it? Yeah. You know, a lot of people have a lot of dollars to be wasting on a marketing team and, and, and hire so many like you guys that are going to like really... But if you can kind of grind on yourself, and it's such a hard grind because, you know, building your brand like you guys have, like I have, it's those days of like posting all the time and yeah. and not just posting, but getting the word out on on, on, on Google or, or just letting people know or, and so they can see what you, because if you're making something and nobody sees it, you know, like it, it's tough. Agreed. And not everybody likes social media. Another yeah. thing. So if you don't like it and you're one of those guys like, bro, I don't even like being on my phone, then give it to somebody in your family that loves it. Uh, a niece or a nephew that love it and let them help you because you know if you want to modernize maybe learn some stuff that you don't know I think it's super yeah. super important you know? so I'll tell you a quick story uh, talking about personal brand and, and building something um, I was with a group of people the other day and I was with uh, funny enough with a marketing agency uh, a group of girls and they gave a presentation we were at a Miami Dade uh, college campus and they gave their presentation first and they gave their deck and they talked about their story and they've been in business, et cetera. And watching that took me like five years back. And I saw everything that I had gone through in 15 minutes. And I was looking at myself and thinking of my and they would look at me. He's a different person. He's bigger. You're going to hear different things. And they would get questions from the crowd. He might say something different. And in my mind, I was like, how funny is life? Like everything just swirls and I'm looking at that and I'm like, these girls have what it takes. Yeah, they can be here. It just takes time. Well, for you, know? you, you saw the full circle because you saw the work you've put in and where you are now. To add to that, I think you need people around you that number one believe in you and that can take you to another level. Because you can have everything. You can have the personality. You can have the um, the drive. But if you don't have direction, I was a person that I was just going all over the place all the time. So I had the energy. But when you have someone that focuses you. And they say, listen, this is your talent, and this is how you could use it. That's really when you hit another level. Kind of like what we do with ourselves. So it's yep. his duty to kind of tell you what not to do and where not to go. In the <laughs> beginning, when we and Manny first started connecting and stuff, like the my the my brain just flipped. It was very different. Yeah. Uh, we had in this very room, which is really how kind of everything started, was STL meetings every Wednesday. And he would be like, what is it that you have? What are you doing? Bam, bam, bam. Brother. You're going about it the wrong way. You're going about it the wrong way. See. Look at this, look at this, look at that. Look at this, look at this. And eventually he had a space in the back and I said, hey, can I be in here? And he goes, oh, I don't know if I want to have you here 24 seven, you know? COVID happened. Yeah, but he, because it, it, of him, he's seeing something in you and helping you out. So it, it's kind of like a duty to kind of like save you years of bullshitting. Correct. To get to the prize you want to in a faster thing that he already did. Well, but yeah. when, you know, we all have had those people. Because I had those people. Not a lot of people have those people. No, but I, I had those people too. So that, but yeah, that's why you pass, why it, down. You pass which it down. Is, which, which in turn is exactly what he's saying is what we're talking about with you mm. in the sense of like, you know, that's you in the food industry. You know Especially what I'm when you're doing TV. Because one Correct. thing is I'm going to help you out. Second thing, I'm going to put you on TV and you're going to tell about your product. I'm not going to charge you a dollar. Correct. You know the DVRs are at home rolling. Yes. You know, todo el mundo is, is watching. So it was a, a like an, a, and that's kind of how it's, I my it's an opportunity. Yeah, yeah it was exactly like, it was it like, it was like, it's I'm, an opportunity. Give you I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna charge you for nothing. I mean, you should like, yeah, I'm gonna put you on for this. We you had know? a young girl here earlier. Yeah. Mickey. Yeah. Came hungry. She's been in the industry for some time and with a crazy new opportunity. And we saw it and we sat down with her and we're like, what you're bringing to the table and your ideas are brilliant. It's something that we hadn't seen. Uh, an idea that we haven't thought about, a strategy we hadn't even like looked into. Yeah, and, and you know what? I, I I just love that, but I wanna I wanna I wanna I wanna talk about that because that's something that I think that we have been able to manage and create here, which is an open door policy of bringing 
different ideas. Yeah. You know, one gets set in this in this business that we're all in, brother. This moves fast. If, if if you're not on that train, you will miss it. But nobody has that attitude. I, I, well, but old school. I'm gonna do it my way. I, 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 a young I, guy I, over here. No, I know no, this no, guy. No, he's no. gonna try to. You know no, 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 no. Yeah, I, 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 I mean, we don't, we don't foster culture at here. all. I, I mean, yeah, but it comes from. It starts from him. Yeah, of course. That's a perfect example right there, Ben. Yeah, Ben had sure. come. This is happening because of Ben's ben. in the back. That's yeah. our producer in the back, by the way. Ben had come to me with many ideas. We have new products and new business. Uh, I, you know, either fishing the business. A lot of people see that as a threat, though. So it's not everybody that does what you do. Or you, you know what I'm saying? But I get. No, I, I you mean, can I, speak to that. I think like there are cases that we've had. People come in here yes. and they think they can do it, and they get fired, and they leave, and try to do it, and they fail. Not because I think they did anything wrong. I just think they didn't take the time to mature. No, no, and if they do it, hey, bless yeah, it. Perfect. Correct. And they have another case is that people come, they work, they learn, they go, and they do their own agencies. And I'm the first one sending them clients. Hey, go take care of these little clients. We don't take no, these anymore. Having somebody coming into a winning team to show them how to win. What's but I, again, I'm saying there's so many things that are going out there that we... Listen, I sit down here on a daily basis, as he can tell you that he officially took me out of retirement. I come here and I sit down on a daily basis. You're right? on a podcast, man. When, what the hell's a podcast? I know. When I keep Aren't on from the 80s, about this, that I sit down here every day now. I'm like, what? You're from the 80s. What's a podcast, yeah, what bro? What the hell is that? I'd be in the beach somewhere with my with my with my big radio. My <laughs> what the hell's a podcast, man? <laughs> but anyway, you sit here, you sit down with people and say, no, I have this idea with this, and you're like, damn, that's good. And and you see that with the, like movie people, you know, producers. If not, you couldn't be up to speed in in yeah. in, in, in the revolution of of, of new movies yeah, and sure. and where we are today. I mean, and it's, you said, it's crazy. Moves fast, so real fast, real fast. It does. You gotta have good moving parts. So yeah. take it a couple of it, man. Thank you for having no, me. No, no, my brother. Well, Pico, a pleasure, brother. Nice Thank you. I love it. I'm a hate there, by the way. I have my office. <laughs> I just. Oh, wait a second. Before 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 we wrap this up, I do want to go ahead and insist. That I buy my pastelitos at Cow. <laughs> yeah, buddy! Cow! And for me... And, by the, and they're time, all time, full. Time, time. And they're all full. Let, Get it. Let it be known. Let it be known that I eat cow bakery. Yes. Nothing else. Cow bakery. Cow. So whoever out there is sending pictures of Manny somewhere else, send them to me. We're going to have a chat. Exactly. Okay. Para lo más rico en Miami. Cow bakery. Lo mejor de Miami. <laughs> But thank you, Cal, for sponsoring you, this segment Tony, today and bringing this. Thank yes, they you. are. Thank you, Ben. Yes, they are. Thank you, Eddie, and especially you, brother. Okay, my brothers. Not only somebody I look up we to will. and respect. Oh, my God, please. I love hanging out with. And he's going to invite me to dinner. You heard it. Please. please no, we are going. We said it. No, no, I no I'm taking you. We have a recorder. Okay. We're going. We're going. We're going. Thank you, guys. Let's All right. Go. Gracias, bro. We're done. Wait, wait. Oh, you're going to leave Cut. me on camera. Coño, I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm gonna name it. I'm gonna welcome it.